Hey everyone, this is Rock, and I'm going to do a quick tutorial today on the geothermal uh, generator. And I'm going to show you how to build it, and I'm going to show you its uh, practical uses in the world. Uh, I don't find it practical at your house because lava doesn't appear too often on the surface. I do have a little spot, uh, if you can see it in that top left corner. So I do have it on the surface, but it's not a usual thing. So I'm going to show you how to build one, and I'm going to show you the practical use of why you'd ever have one and what you would need one for. So let's get started um, with the recipe for it first. The recipe for it is this right here. It is four pieces of glass, two on each side, two pieces of refined iron. That's uh, You smelt iron for the, a second time and you get refined iron. Sorry if my voice sounds a little funny, I'm a little stuffed up. Um, and then you build a generator on the bottom, which I've shown this countless times. And then if you can see here, we have empty cells. Now, I've never built empty cells on this uh, tutorial yet so I'm going to show you the recipe for those and how those what those are used for they have a ton of uses so these are empty cells it's a very simple recipe it's four pieces of tin in a uh, in a, in a diamond a diamond uh, pattern so you just put them in here and you get eight for every every four which is a pretty good haul uh, if you click U when you're on it, it it shows you all the different uses you can make water cells a uh, lot lava cells which produce 50,000 EU which is very very good and uh, 10k coolant which takes this which I don't know what it is it doesn't have a label and then it has a, a lot a bunch of different machines too the electrizer the pump uh, this machine uh, and, and other things weed X okay so as you can see there's a lot of different ways a lot of different uses. Uh, one of the biggest ones is definitely industrial centrifuge, which we're going to get to soon. I like that's a cool machine. And as you can see, there's a hundred, uh, 25 pages, so 25 different recipes in, uh, using the empty cells here. So let's get to it. So this is how you build the geothermal generator. It's just the tin empty cells in the center and the same pattern I showed before. So let's build one real quick. Two empty cells in the center. Glass around it, find iron in the corners on the bottom, and a generator. You get a geothermal generator. And let me just show you what it looks like. Pretty snazzy, right? Uh, simple, simple uh, little interface here. And for all the machines, uh, last video, one of the videos I showed you how to make a bronze wrench. This is an electric wrench, this is the same tool. As you can see, there's a wrench up in the corner, and then it takes an electrical circuit and a rechargeable battery, and you get this electric wrench. Uh, I recommend it because the other wrenches break. This never breaks. It just holds a 12,000 EU charge, which will last you a good amount of time. I'll show you. And that's the only way to break, break these um, machine-type blocks. You uh, right-click, and you get one back like that. And it takes, it takes not that much power away from that. But uh, that's how you build one. And I will be back in a second. I'm going to go to another area and I'll show you a practical use for this. I'll be right back. Alright, I'm back. As you can see, I'm underground. I'm at level 11. And as you can see, there is lava everywhere. Thank God. And so this is this is the reason I, I would think that you'd need one of these. Um, when you're this low and you're in a, a ravine that I'm in, I think I'm in a, a good sized ravine right now. Uh, and I'm just finding a few different uh, ingots so I can show you how it's used. As you see, I'm in a little mine shaft too, so it's a pretty big area down here. It's, it's pretty cool. I've been mining down here for a while. I found rubies and stuff down here all the time. But, say you're down here and, you know, you're mining away, you're going around and you're finding all these resources everywhere. And you, you need a way to smelt uh, your ingots, your, your blocks into ingots or macerate them or whatever you want to do. You don't want to go all the way back to the surface because it doesn't seem worth it. And you can bring a generator, obviously, and use coal. Coal produces 4,000 EU per item. That's not bad. But then there's this machine. It's, it's a better version of it. So let's put it down right here. Uh, there's two different ways to use this. You can hook a pump up with waterproof piping. I've been, I'm trying to figure out how that works, and I've learned that you need the, bee, the bees mod. helps that out. And so it's a little complicated. I haven't totally figured it out. I don't think you need that right away anyway. Let me put some light up here just so I don't get uh, attacked. So here we are. I got this geothermal generator. I have all these iron, I have lead, I have gold. 
And instead of using one of these, you know, obviously it's not going to do anything. It's a geothermal. It takes lava as a, as a source. Um, <clears throat> I believe that it is 40,000 EU per lava bucket, which is a lot. That's a bat box full of with power. It doesn't show you, so I, I don't know how you know. But say we put, oh, you can't put it in here. I'm sorry. So you have forty thousand EU of power here. So you take your, you hook up your little electric furnace. Hook it up right here. Uh, we'll hook up a copper cable to it. Now it's charging. You see the interface right there? How it just lit up like that. So let's put our this in here. See that? It's kind of cool. It's pulling power out of this machine. And bam, we get a gold bar. Uh, same thing with iron. So if you're underground like this and you need a, a powerful source of, like, look at all this lava. If I just wanted to stay down here for a while and just keep smelting, this is how I would definitely do it. It's a, it's a cheap source of power <coughs> because it is so um, abundant. Look at all this lava. This is a hundreds and millions of uh, EUs of power just right where I'm standing. It's an easy way to get power. You can smelt all your ingots up. Uh, I would love to show you the pump, but I just I couldn't figure it out. I tried for a few hours last night. It, it, I'm pretty sure uh, I didn't look into a tutorial. I don't really like looking them up. I kind of like figuring these things out on my own. And so I couldn't. And I'm going to try again tonight. But I think you need an engine, and I haven't went over engines yet, so I think the next tutorial, because this is going to be a real short one, oops, I think it's only going to be like five or six minutes long, but the next tutorial I'm going to put out is going to be all about the engines I know how to use, which includes the wooden, the steam powered, um, actually I'll show you, we'll should go over the redstone engine, the sterling engine, and the electrical engine and the hobbyist steam engine so a couple of these I, I don't know how to use them all there's a lot of different ones here obviously industrial steam engines and stuff I'll eventually learn st steel gears huh? but for now I think that's a good starting point for those uh, this is going to be a quick tutorial sorry and it's all I want to show I just wanted to show you a practical use for uh, the geothermal generator down here I find to be a very practical use. Look at all this down here. And if you got a pump hooked up to this, oh, it's an insane amount of power you can get out of one of these. Uh, this has been Rock. Next uh, video we are going to go over engines and then we will get into things that need engines and what the engines do. And then we will move on to different more machines. Let me just show you where I am too, in case you're curious. There's my house right over there. That was, that was a little ways underground right there. I got this this huge village right there. Oh, I almost hurt myself. Huge village right there. Sorry, I'm getting a little sidetracked. Um, yeah, so a little update on what the next few videos are going to be is the next is going to be uh, engines. And then engines get you into, um, uh, I think, transport pipes. There are two things that you should learn right now. And then uh, I'm going to start going over quarries, industrial center pages. Uh, I want to show you how to automate all these things so you don't have to do any work and uh, stuff like that. Just a little update on what, what to expect in the coming days. I uh, appreciate your time and I appreciate you watching and I really appreciate a like. So thank you and have a good day. Goodbye.